I said so many nice things. I thought you were talking about a completely different person. But anyway, I love it to see you. Do you know, I've just worked out the number of people watching me. I'm playing the O2 Arena. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice to see you all, wherever you might be. Before I start, this is for something later on. I need someone to guard this. Oh, all the scary kids. <laughs> like that. I'm just going to put this lassie here, because that way I can see that she hasn't opened the envelope. But keep that sealed envelope there. And the next thing we need to do is I'm going to borrow my Auntie Janice. <laughs> Sorry, calling you Auntie. That's all right, This Dad. lovely woman's on the radio, you know. Yay. Saturday morning, she's got a voice like an angel. Face now, hold that little piece of cloth yes. there like that. Yes. Right, while you're holding that bit of cloth, let me just get my pens. I'm going to do a strange little trick. It's one of the best-known tricks in maths, but it leads to some really, really weird stuff. I want um, everyone in this room, please, in front of me now, to think of a number between one and nine. This is also something you may be able to do in the classroom. I'll just show you what I'm doing on the board here. So if there's somebody at the front of your class with a pen. <laughs> you might not go as fast as me, but once you've got the gist of it, you'll be able to do this trick yourselves. OK, they're all thinking of a number between one and nine. Janice, pick three people. When Janice picks you, just shout out what number you're thinking of. OK, uh, the girl in the second row with the glasses on. Eight. Is that eight? eight. Thanks, my love. Okay. Eight, yeah. And uh, the girl in the front row here with the nice shiny boots. Two. Eight, two, and... Oh. And the boy in the very back row. That Sacks. woke him up. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Six. 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 We've got eight, two, and six. Uh, Blue pen. Eight, two, six. If you're doing this in the classroom, put the biggest digit at the front, OK? Right, that's a minus sign, that's a plus sign, and that's an equal sign. But these two things are what I call turning around signs, OK? So what I do is I get that number and I turn it around, OK? Not too difficult. Six, two, eight. Now we've got to a takeaway sign there. 826, takeaway 628, and the answer is 198. You meant to gasp at how fast I do sums in my head. Oh, please yourselves, anyway. <laughs> 198, I'm going to turn round 198. What do I get, you people? 891, thank you very much. In the classroom, if you're not keeping up, don't worry. As long as you've got these bits down here, you can keep doing this trick after we finish this programme. Finally, we add up these last two numbers, but before I do, I've got to get Janice ready for what's going to be the end of her career. OK. Here we go. <laughs> sorry, Janice. Give me that, give me All that. All right, sorry. Right, you hold that one there. Yes. And you hold that one there. Yes. You keep your hands together. Yes. We're going to do this last sum. Then when I've done the sum, I'm going to say, show them the cloth. OK. And you've got to pretend it's Strictly Come Dancing. Go, da-da! Like All that. right. OK. Hey, thinking Strictly Come Dancing. Listen, if she does a sort of like nice little thing, will you give her a clap? Will you? Thank a poor you. woman. Yeah, thank you. She needs it. Right, we're off. We add up these last two numbers. Starts at the end here. All of you out loud. Eight plus one makes? Nine. That's good. Nine plus nine? Eighteen. Eight down and a one to carry. One plus eight plus one. What's the answer? Ten. Ten. All the time. Janice was holding the cloth. Show them the cloth. Ta-da! And now you all clap. There you are. How's that then? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You can buzz off. I've got half an hour on my own now. We'll see you in a minute. Thank you very much, Janice. That's lovely. That's a weird little trick. I've known that trick since I was about 10 years old. What I didn't know is why do you always get the answer 1089? In fact, to prove that you always get the answer, I'm going to do the same trick, exactly the same, but about 50 times faster. Can you all think of a number between 1 and 9? Very quickly, I'm going to pick Lassie there. Shout out your number between 1 and 9. 2. Two's good for me. Lassie on the front. 7. Two, I've got seven, lady there. Five. Two, seven and five. All right, down. Two, seven, five. If you're doing it yourself, remember, put the, uh, a big digit at the front. I turn it round. Uh, two, seven, five. I subtract. That makes 297. Turn it round. 792. Add them up. 1089. Oh, Clap again. Go on. Great. <laughs> Why do you always get 1089? Oh, <laughs> There's two reasons. The first reason... I can prove this with algebra. I'm not going to do that this morning. We're not going to do sums with letters. Nobody panic. But the other reason why we always get 1089 is because the number 1089 is weird. <laughs> I, know, I know what you're thinking. How can a number be weird? Most numbers are a bit boring. 251, boring. 75,615,512, boring. 1089, hello. OK. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a weird thing about this number. Just in private, just in private, between you, me, and most of the UK, 
Have you done your times tables? Have you looked at your times tables? Secretly, if you think times tables is a little bit boring, wherever you are, just go, oh. A few of you, yeah, okay. And if you think times tables is really interesting, put your hand up and go, I'm strange. A few hands going up. Yes, I can see him, lad down there. I am going to teach you your 1,089 times table. It's going to take me 15 seconds, and you're going to remember this for the rest of your lives, whether you want to or not. Stand by for some deeply damaging incoming information. It's funny enough, recently I wrote a book called Easy Questions, Evil Answers, and one of the questions is, what is the easiest times table to learn? This, I reckon, is the easiest times table to learn, OK? 1089 times by one, what is it? Thank you very much, 1089. Times by two, I'll tell you, it's 2178. Times by three, it's 3267. Times by four, anybody like to suggest what that first digit might be? Shout out. Four. What's next? Three. What's next? Five. What's next? Six. Let's go, times by five, what is it? Five. Go, go. Four. I'm sure you've probably all got it, but if you haven't, look down the columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, that was a very poor eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And here's the lovely bit. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And this is the really kinky bit. Look, if you get 1089 times by nine, It's not weird, it turns backwards. Do you like that? You can clap any time you want. I can wait all morning. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>